making things, imagining and developing solutions, some tough challenges and a lot of fun. That's Act in Space, the hackathon organised by the CNES, the ESA and the ESA BIC Southern France. A competition where candidates have to work with space technologies to come up with products and services to improve our day-to-day -day life here on Earth. So we have to find a solution for that. Yeah. Knes is a designer of Act in Space and the organizer in France where 11 cities were committed in the last edition. ESA is responsible for the extension uh, of Act in Space to Europe and delegates the operational aspect to ESABIC Sud France, uh, which led the relation with the 13 cities engage in the last edition. The candidates, who come from all sorts of different backgrounds, have 24 hours and not a minute longer to build their team, put their project together and prepare their pitch. Then comes the presentation to a panel of professionals. Above and beyond the prizes available, the real goal of Act in Space is to develop entrepreneurial spirit and to turn these often inspirational ideas into startups and jobs. Uh, my biggest expectation is that a lot of ideas will make application to the ESA Business Incubation Centers or other incubation centers. And my expectation and the expectation of my colleagues is really that we later have companies which we can count and that there's a product really in the market which will be sold to customers. We also hope that we can pursue this project further and uh, continue to work with uh, ESA Business Incubation Center and uh, to invest our idea and to really make this happen. Throughout the 24 hours of the hackathon, the candidates in each town can get help from enterprise development coaches, but also from space experts. This support is organised by the CNES and reinforced by Airbus Defence and Space and the European Space Agency. The experts are available on site, over the phone or via internet. Like Arno, who's very enthusiastic about the candidates' ideas. So I think today the Hackathon concept is the one of the only way to move from an old traditional company to the fresh new one. Because we are not startup, but we want to be a startup. So we cannot do that. So in order to do that, we need just to join the expertise from the space business with coaches and technical experts with the fresh young generation, you know, the, the one uh, from the connected people, and uh, to work all together during just a full day in order to merge these competence, these skills, and to provide just disruptive innovation at the end. So that's exactly what acting space is doing and where we can just enjoy the, the good moment. The partnership between uh, Acting Space and Airbus have uh, a lot of interest uh, for uh, young people it's the potentiality to be in contact with uh, engineers, to have a technical support from experiment, uh, experiment uh, people. So this is for the young. For Airbus it's to allows to have, uh, his own employees to be involved in uh, support for young people and so to, to see how young people are dealing with these subjects. After its first French edition, the hackathon has gone European and even worldwide with the participation of Morocco, Turkey and Brazil. And it's far from over. Uh, this year I'm, I'm hoping to learn how the program works and see if we can implement something similar in the States or even join here with the, uh, the CNES version. For this edition we managed to increase the number of cities for five, uh, the number of countries for 12, so uh, that was a huge uh, satisfaction for us. And I really hope that uh, for the next one, uh, that will be uh, of course uh, even more, uh, maybe 30, 40 uh, cities maybe three, four, five continents. And uh, uh, what uh, would be uh, really marvelous is that uh, the next edition was a worldwide edition and uh, give to space all its dimension. Mm -hmm.